Welcome to Swan Racing TV. The guys just got their best finish 12th at Talladega. Now they're getting the car ready for Darlington, the track too tough to tame. It's gonna get hectic around here. Getting the uh, mid-mount spacers and motor slugs for this car. This will be the uh, showdown car we'll run at Charlotte there for the All-Star Weekend. Pumping the fuel out of the Darlington car, trying to get it ready for we're starting a new uh, downforce car. Be for somewhere like Charlotte. Uh, we're just putting the sheet metal on it. Mountain deck lid. We got really tight tolerances back here. It's only got about a sixteenth of an inch, and here I'm allowed about an eighth. So get them as close as we can. You guys about to put her in? Yes, sir. You ever done that before? First time for everything, baby. I think it's cool because there's so many more wires and stuff to it now. And before I got injured, it was a carburetor, and I lived in Indiana and uh, raced USAC, and it was all uh, fuel injection. I said, I don't know how to work on this, so I ain't got a carburetor right now. I woke up paralyzed, and now I, I, all there is is electronic fuel injection. So I don't know how to work on this anyway. which the whole world knows, Tony Uri Jr. He looks a little different, shaves his mustache, looks about 15 years younger. And uh, you see him around the, the place. He's a pretty vital role here in how the whole organization goes. We don't, I'd say you're competition director now if we go by job titles. Or what job title do you want? Uh, I'm just, it don't really matter about a job title. It's all about making a race team go faster and you know getting these guys organized and you know going to week every week and just trying to get the best finish we can. Tony's brought a lot to the team, got a lot going on and, and uh, as we're building this he, he's a big vital part of it so I knew him and had a lot of respect for him before he come here and it's like it's amazing at how much more uh, respect I have for him. I mean he's a, a very diverse kind of guy, does a lot of things, not really a lot of people they have uh, and he's had a lot of success. A lot of people get egos on stuff. He's just, he's down to earth. He's a normal, normal dude. Yeah, I go to track every weekend, you know, just kind of, you know, kind of oversee and just kind of help Bones. You know, it's, it's, it helps out when you, when you can stand back and kind of look at the overall picture. You know, you're not right in the, right in the middle of getting after it. It's <laughs> uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I started in 91, so how many is that? Well, 22 years? Yeah, it's a long time. This is Bray. <laughs> Bray handles multi hats <laughs> like the rest of us. He's uh, I don't know what's your job title. That's about it. That's, that's we have we them all. As people know, we're not into job titles around here. There's not here. a lot of job titles. Like today, the driver he's checked out. We don't even know where in the hell he's at. <laughs> Parts guys here. That's me. That's what I'm doing right now. You notice he works in the office. He dresses nicely. <laughs> y'all here real quick. We're busy right now. We're trying to get ready for Darlington. Stephen Lane, he's come on, aka Bones they call him. Uh, you'll see him a lot. He's uh, as we go into job titles, crew chief, but whatever. Works with me and Tony and runs the guys and that. And then Bob's the car chief. He just come on this week. Bob's running around. He's doing some stuff this morning, kind of getting things going. This actually his first day here, so we're he says he can help our team and improve, so we're looking forward to it. But uh, Bones is, he's been with me since, what, 06? He mm -hmm. saved my life in 06. <laughs> I told him he's, he's stuck with me for life now. Tell, yeah. gr grab Bramie I was talking to and tell him to print that spring deal out. He's got it. That's okay. what I was going to go back to anyway. Just tell him, yeah. 
don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> Maybe I should walk away for it when he says it. No, I mean, like, it is it's it is it's tough to go work with somebody else when you've worked, you know, obviously I've worked with David for so long. We've been through so much together. I tell him, I said, I probably know what he's going to say before he says it. I, I mean, for me, I've worked, obviously, like he said, with him on, on a small team. And even before this one, I mean, when I left Ganassi going to another small team in front row. It's, it's tough, I mean, because you're putting a lot, a lot of work on, on, on a small amount of people. For me, it works. Um, you know, because I, I know about I know my race car a little better than, than the big team philosophy where you're kind of in the office, you kind of get your race car at the last minute, you know, and you don't really see it. You're more calling the race, I, I call it, you know, when I work in a big team rather than having your hands on the car. I'm actually going to run. I got some stuff I got to do. That's it for Swan Racing TV. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter for all the weekly updates. See ya.